Hello friends, so in this video I just wanted to share some of the most common mistakes that we do as uh, uh, freelancers and if you avoid those mistakes it will save you a lot of time and will enable you to grow at a much faster rate. So the first mistake is not having portfolio. When you do not have a portfolio um, it is very hard for freelancers to start or get their initial clients. By portfolio I simply mean that whatever services you provide I want you to have your samples. For example if you are providing services as a YouTube thumbnail designer so you should have at least five or six of those samples that you should have tried and uh, add them to your portfolio. On the other hand if you are providing services as a writer you should write at least five to six of those samples and uh, let's suppose uh, you want to write product descriptions for somebody you should write product descriptions for at least 10 products and keep them with yourself and whenever somebody asks you uh, to show them some samples you, you you can present them to those people and make sure they are original work uh, done by you another very common mistake is trying to learn a lot of skills at the same time for example what happens is that we usually see people asking for different uh, kinds of tasks and we try to learn every single uh, skill and we jump uh, on those skills every single day for example today i'm learning photoshop on the other uh, day they try to uh, jump to coding and then on the next day they will try to uh, learn something new this makes your progress like very slow and you are uh, you develop over time you develop as a mediocre in different uh, skills and you cannot specialize in one particular skill so try to stick to one skill give it a fair enough time and build your portfolio uh, by working on that particular skill in this way for example if you are going on a fiber on upwork it builds your portfolio over there as well and if for example you are doing a similar task these pr uh, platforms will rank you and also it builds your trust with clients never ever try to uh, provide services in a lot of skills try to provide uh, services in one two or at maximum in three different categories don't go uh, uh, above that next one is don't try to apply on uh, every single job that you see try to apply on jobs that you really can do for example whenever we go online and we see requests from clients initially what we do is that we try to apply on every single job but this is like a very bad practice uh, try to selectively bid on those jobs that you are pr very confident that you can do and you can give 100 percent of uh, results in that for that particular job this results in very good reputation on the platform and you uh, tend to get uh, a lot of good reviews for this because if you can do a job 100% and you are 100% sure uh, about it only then you get a very good uh, review by your client and it helps you a lot so never try to uh, bid on every single job that you see another very important tip i would give you is try to update your skills whatever you are whatever services you are providing try to find uh, the latest trends on those platforms for example go to upwork go to fiverr and see what people are uh, selling how can you improve and over time it will help you a lot because if you are sticking to your old skills and not learning new skills new skills in that same category you will not be able to uh, capitalize your skill um, at maximum and you will not be able to grow a lot so try to learn uh, uh, try to at least update your skills over time and understand the needs of the buyers always try to assemble your portfolio assembling your portfolio means that you should collect all the works that you are doing and add them to a proper folder or a proper website or like a google drive that you can present to your client for example i used to complete different jobs and those files that i completed for my clients would go to like to different folders in my la uh, laptop so later on if uh, that particular if a new client would come and they, they would ask me for that particular job that i did and show them th those samples uh, it used to be very hard for me to locate that file and uh, find it out next very important and i think probably the most crucial one is trying to build properly uh, now what we usually do is that we uh, make templates of our bits and keep them with ourselves and whenever whenever we see a relevant job we just uh, throw that bid on that uh, particular job please don't do this um, you will struggle a lot you will not get jobs because uh, an effective way to uh, get a particular job is to properly optimize your uh, bid and bid strategy is very important you can find one of the video on my channel i will share a proper bid strategy how do you bid properly uh, on jobs and uh, you will find it very effective and for me it works all the time so uh, thank you so much for watching this video um, and if you have any questions 
uh, please make sure to comment them down below and i will try to uh, answer your queries or questions thank you so much for watching this video bye bye